Hello everyone, my name is Pythi GB and welcome back to the fifth episode of the Minecraft Python Pack series. Thank you so much once again for the support you have been showing with the series, my friends, and in the last episode, of course, it is super, super appreciated. It's really, really nice that you guys are embracing the modded content on this channel. Now, don't forget, guys, if you are enjoying this series and you enjoy the episodes, do be sure to keep dropping like great and show your support for the series. And uh, even more so because at the time of this episode going out, the Python pack should be live on the FTB launcher. So if you've got the Feed the Beast launcher and you go ahead and you type in the pack code Python pack, you'll be able to download this very mod pack and play it along with me yourselves. So go ahead, get the FTB launcher. There's going to be links in the description. Type in the word Python pack if you want to get yourself the Python pack, obviously. And uh, yeah, it'll download and install itself and you can play along with me. So yeah, super awesome folks. Yeah, buddy! Everything is going well. So, in today's episode, my friends, what we are going to start off by doing is we're going to start off by making ourselves a waypoint, which, if I just press the dot or the period symbol, we can go ahead and do exactly that. So, let's go ahead and uh, type in uh, Volcano Home. There we go. I guess we'll give it a bit of a reddish, orangey tinge to give the lava effect. Uh, yeah, that's pretty decent. Yeah, kind of cool. Uh, let's put that 255. Let's put that 80 because OCD. And let's save that right there. So, there we go. Volcano home. Awesome. So, now we know how to get back. And that is going to be very, very good because in today's episode, my friends, we are going to go on a bit of an adventure. We're going to have a bit of an explore around the place, see what kind of stuff we've got going on around this place. We've got a mesa here. And obviously, because it's 1.11 and obviously, you know, I think it was a 1.10. It was added that uh, you could find like uh, abandoned mine shafts and all that kind of stuff on the mesa surface. So, you know, this should be pretty damn cool. I want to go ahead and check something out real quick, actually. Saddle. Can we craft these? Oh, we can. Ah, okay, so we need iron ingots, we need tanned leather, and a drying rack. How does one make a drying rack? Let's have a look. Drying, uh, oh, that's really easy. It's just three sticks and three planks. Huh, I'm actually tempted to do that because then we can get ourselves a horse real quick, and then we can have a bit of a proper explore, you know, real quickly. Oh, that's freaking sweet, dudes. I'm definitely doing that. Right, okay, let's uh, do a little bit of this, though. And a third one. There we go. Let's have ourselves a little bit of that. And uh, I do believe it was this, if I remember correctly. Nope. Other way around. Yeah, there it is. Dry Mac. Fantastic. Okay. So all we've got to do is place this thing down. Uh, oh, you can, you can like, dry four things at the same time. Have we got any leather left? We do. Ooh. Oh, sweet. I wonder how long that will take. Oh, okay. So you can see the little bubble meter there. Hmm. Cool. Right, I need to go and farm some more cows in which case. I need to get myself three more bits of leather. Then I can actually craft myself a saddle. We can get ourselves a horse and then everything will be good to go, folks. So look, there's a bunch of horses over there. So yeah, it's going to be a, a preferred mode of transport, if you will. Awesome. Ah, right, let's find some cows, shall we? Ooh, check this out, folks. So while I was exploring, trying to find some cows to kill, which by the way... There you go, thank you very much. We've now got the required amount of leather and a little bit more. Uh, we found this little thing right here. It's like a big ass stone mound in the ground. And as you can see, as you go further up, it's kind of like the inverse of how the real Minecraft world works in that, you know, towards the bottom you find the more valuable stuff. But in this one, the, the less valuable stuff is here, but then the more valuable stuff is right up the top there. Huh, that's actually kind of cool. Oh, hang on. Hey, 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 hey. Who dares? Who dares? Oh, you dare. You dead. Oh, that prickly little bush. How could you do that, man? That's so rude. All right, so this is what we're going to go and do. We're going to be a freaking Highlander right now. Let's go and uh, vein mine this real quick. There we go. Hey, lots of that. Oh, hello. Hey, Redstone. Hello there, bud. How you doing there, friendo? All right, let's have a little bit of that. Uh, let's just keep going up. Uh, oh, new pickaxe required. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's just keep going up. There's some gold up there. I wonder if you can get like diamonds in these things. I don't know. I don't think I saw any diamonds anyway. Uh, okay, so here we go. Got a little bit of lapis. Uh, why not? <laughs> this is actually kind of cool that you can find the stuff on the surface, man. It's just really cool to me for some reason. Okay, uh, let's just keep it going though. A uh, little bit of gold up there. And I think that might just about be it for that particular mound. Yeah, it is. I might as well get rid of this bit here, just so it's not floating. And again, my OCD doesn't go off the charts. All right, cool. Hey, man, that's kind of awesome. All right, let's go dry out the rest of this uh, leather. And uh, yeah, let's get ourselves a saddle going, huh? Oh, 
Oh, I've just realised. Check it out, guys. We've got these four in here, and they also visually show on the actual dry rack itself. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to put it in my backpack just in case I want to take it with me and uh, get some stuff done that way. Alrighty. Just in the process of getting some more plant fibres. Hopefully that won't take all that long. Come on there, buddy. Just the one more. There we go. Oh, we've got two more, in fact. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah, we need a piece of string. We've got ourselves the two iron ingots from all of the nuggets that we have. And uh, I've got a bunch of tanned leather. So, here we go. Let's get this thing crafted up. Yeah, we've got ourselves a crafted saddle. That is freaking awesome. Awesome, folks. I'm really happy about that. Right, let's place that down right there. And uh, I guess we can go to sleep real quick as well. And then, uh, yeah, we'll grab ourselves a horse. And we will get ourselves, you know, exploring, I guess. So, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> well, guys, I, I done goofed. I done goofed. I thought I was recording a segment. And then I looked over at OBS and it was like, you're not recording there, buddy. Well, it doesn't actually say that. It just said start recording as if it wasn't recording. So... Yeah, but basically all I did is I went ahead, had a bit of an explore around on the horse that I managed to get, which by the way is super, super fast. If we just uh, head in here real quick and uh, get him out, uh, you will see, hold on, can I not get out? Oh no, this chest is now in the way. Ah, oh, dang it, I'm an idiot. All right, let me just go ahead and uh, break this uh, little thing. Okay, and now we should be able to get out. There we go, okay. But yeah, look at how fast this horse is, dude. Holy crap. It's amazing. Uh, one thing I will uh, tell you is, yes, I do notice that the thirst meter is on top of the horse health meter. So I'm going to need to find some sort of way to either move the horse meter or move the thirst meter somewhere else. I was thinking maybe the thirst meter could go on top of the armor bar or something like that. I don't know. Maybe it's configurable where you could put it, but... Uh, Whatever the case may be, yes, I do notice that before you go ahead and put it in the comments area. But, uh, yeah, like I said, look how fast this horse, man. Horses, man. It's amazing. But, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, I digress. We had a bit of an explore. Uh, our home is way up here. Obviously, we set a waypoint at the start of the episode. And uh, we're just way down here. We're actually nearer where we originally spawned, which I do believe was around here. Obviously, we uh, explored this here meadow biome. And then we headed up north to get to the volcano. But instead, of, uh, I found this place, which I do believe is going to be a roguelike dungeon, which is super freaking sweet. And I feel like we should be able to, you know, have a decent attempt at trying to get some goodies from it, you know. So, yeah, I've got some food. I've got this stuff here, which is black nightshade berries, which I didn't even know was a food until I accidentally discovered it while trying to pick up this horse right here. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm really, really happy with this. So let's go ahead and uh, put that in there. And uh, let's do that. Uh, I kind of want to go ahead and uh, make this place look a little bit better. So maybe... So, I don't know, maybe I go ahead and uh, fill in some of these gaps or some of these more generic blocks that I've obtained. So, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the first proper adventure slash combat thing we're going to be doing is this here roguelite dungeon. And man, am I looking forward to it. So, here we go. We're going to make the descent downwards to see what kind of stuff we can do. All right. So, as I said, we've got a backpack for additional storage. So, we have this inventory as well as this inventory, which is awesome. So, here we go, my friends. This is a roguelike dungeon. And man, am I looking forward to getting some uh, getting some crap done. You know what I'm saying? So, here we go. Let's crack this thing open and let's go down this lane first of all to see what kind of things we have going. All right. So, oh, hello. What are you? Oh, what the... Yo, man, these guys have got freaking shield. Oh, hang on. These guys are lagging a bit. Ah, oh, okay. Ah. Wow, I'm going to do three. Oh! What the heck was that? Was that lag? Seriously, for real, was that actually lag that just killed me, dude? If that is, then I've got to say I'm a bit disappointed in you, Minecraft. I mean, come on, dude. Come on. All right, let's get back there, let's get our stuff, and uh, let's continue on with that thing. I can't believe that. That's just complete rubbish, really. <laughs> oh, my God. What the hell, dude? What? <laughs> I'm trying to get my stuff back. I've got half a freaking thirst bar remaining. I can't even get out of here, dude. What? <laughs> you think this is fair? Holy... Well, I don't know. Oh, God. We are... Well, we're going to die. Oh, we're going to die so hard right now, folks. Oh, jeez. Maybe I can get down there now? 
come on, come on, come on. Ah, no! Ah, oh, damn it, man! I didn't even mean to do that, dude. I didn't even mean to do that. Ah! All right, we have to go 700 blocks to get back there. That's the really annoying thing, man. Jeez. All right, well, stuff happens and, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, our stuff doesn't permanently despawn is the point I'm trying to make because, of course, we do have ourselves the gravestone mob. So all we've got to do is try and get back there in one piece and then uh, that way we can actually, you know, uh, get our stuff back. Where is my other stuff? I don't even know. It is somewhere around. Oh, 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 Jesus! Holy crap! 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 Come on there, buddy. Come on. Oh, Jesus! Holy! Oh my God! They're breaking down the door. Oh, no! Don't break it! Oh! I really don't like this guy. He's gonna kill me, isn't he? I'm dead. Dude, what the hell? Look at him! How many prefixes do you want? <laughs> I, uh... I'm not doing so well, am I? <laughs> Alright guys, so here we are back at the dungeon and this time I've been smart. I've brought a bed with me, so let's go to sleep real quick. This is of course gonna set our spawn here. So should we wind up dying again, we can get back real easily. So... Let's just uh, get this thing going. Horse, I would very much rather you didn't watch me sleep. I mean, come on, dude. That's just rude. That's weird, man. I don't watch you sleep. I've never seen you sleep. You don't even sleep in this game. Horses don't sleep. It's just not something that happens. All right, so you can see our death point on the minimap right there. All we need to do is get down to it. So check it out, guys. Can I do this real quick? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Break, 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 I'm a freaking genius. Oh, there's a regular bed here as well. With some stuff in it. Huh. Ooh, sharpness one, power one, uh, rotten flesh, spider eyes, uh, bones, regular books. We've got these two things right here. I'm breaking one, uh, projectile protection, or we've got regular protection. I'm going to go regular protection because I kind of like that. Case hardened pick with efficiency one, unbreaking two. That's going to be really useful for taking out spawners, of course. Uh, we've got this thing. Oh, damn. Tempered blade, sharpness one, unbreaking and mending. Ooh, kill him. I like that. Let's put that stuff in there. Statistics. What the hell was this? Let's have a look. Uh, resource notes. Architects resource notes. Stone brick. 86,290. Oh, okay. So is that basically telling me how many blocks have been used? Oh, TNT. 136. Mob spawners. 114. Holy. Damn, dude. That's crazy. Okay. Right. Well, I'm feeling pretty good about that. We've got some paper as well. Awesome. And uh, yeah, we've got like bookshelves and everything. This is awesome. Hey man, this is a nice little room. Are you the nasty zombie? No, he's a regular one. 25 hearts? Holy! Did you see the amount of hearts he had? That's cra- Oh! He's the one- No, oh, hang on. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hang on, 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 hang on. Let me get out, let me get out, let me get out. Okay, all of a sudden everybody's kicking my ass. Come on! How'd you come there, bud? How much health do you have? 50 hearts?! What?! There's no way that's right! Oh god, I'm in a bit of a bad situation now. 50 hearts?! Holy crap, dude! Well, at least he's stuck in there now. Ha! <laughs> Lol. Holy crap. 50 hearts of health, that's ridiculous! This one's also got 50 hearts! What?! That's ridiculous! Oh, that guy's dead. I can't get over how much health some of these guys have, actually. Hey, 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 hey. No! No! No, 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 no! We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Everything's good, everything's good, okay? We've got ourselves a gravestone. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, there we go. Holy crap, we are dying so many times, it's actually kind of ridiculous. Jesus, man. <sighs> okay, right, we've got to keep going, though. We've got to keep going. Let's put some stuff away, because I don't want to be dying with a lot of stuff on me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's put... What the hell kind of background sound was that? Did you guys hear that? That's weird as hell. Oh, damn, look at this. A mycidinal tincture. Lords in them. What does that do? 
Oh, Grave Spade. Efficiency 1 on Baking 2. That's really nice. We've got Efficiency there. Got some more Stone Bricks. Uh, you, Longbow, Power 2, and uh, Unbreaking 1. Superior Craftsmanship. What does that mean? Does it like have like extra stats somewhere? Huh. Okay. And a Gold Ingot. Nice one. And a Spider Eye. Because why not? Alright, sweet. So, we're going back into this room. Okay, so there's one on my death points. Where's the other ones? I could have sworn... We should have another one somewhere. Another death point, right? Huh. Let's break it. Yeah, this isn't even the one. What? Yeah, there's, there's no, like, there's no thing. There's no water butt thing. Well, this is kind of concerning. Where is my stuff then? Alrighty, guys, we're back in the mystical conundrum of where my original stuff with the water canteen and all that, where that stuff is continues but i think i have a bit of a theory i've been editing this episode as i go along so i've been able to find exactly where it was i died the first time and it was inside of the same block as an iron bar so i imagine what may have happened is that uh, it may have like shot up through the ground or something so i've already checked inside this place and it hasn't been here so uh, i'm gonna go with the theory that maybe it's on top of this place and uh, yeah as you can see there it is there's our first ever death point. There it is, folks. So if I break this open, my canteen and all of that stuff is going to be in there. And, uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy about the fact that I finally managed to find my stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's just break it open. And, uh, yep, there it is. Oh, my God. Look at the size of the backpack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Hey, there it all is, folks. We got our stuff back, folks. We are looking good. Got our torches and our bow and everything like that. And I'm really, really happy about the fact we finally got our stuff back. So, we do have a little bit of time left in this episode. So, I'm thinking maybe we can uh, get back to uh, maybe uh, exploring a little bit of the dungeon. I don't see a reason why not, I guess. Uh, we do, of course, have our spawn point set inside of the base, which is good. So, yeah, let's just put our stuff away real quick. Uh, maybe we need to make another chest, actually. Yeah, we need to do that for sure. Yeah, let's make ourselves another chest. Let's put some stuff away. And, uh, yeah, let's get on with uh, exploring this place a little bit more. All right, guys. So this particular branch of this dungeon is now explored. And check this out. We've got ourselves some uh, some things going on here, which is kind of nice. Hey, can you, like, not do that? I want to harvest that up. Yeah, so we've got some potatoes and... Wait, where'd the carrots go? Wait, what? I, 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 I is confused. Maybe it's like gone through the ground or something. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, I digress. We can move on to some of these other areas, perhaps. Let me just have a look on the minimap just to see how big each area is. Uh, okay, they, they all look pretty small. I think we explored the biggest one first, which is okay. Okay, all right. So, here we go. Uh, oh, there's the way down. <gasps> oh, my God. It's a baby creeper. Yeah, look at, oh, wait. He did, wait, did he just despawn? Wait, What? Okay, that's that's cool, I guess. Uh, right, okay, what's going on around it? Oh. Oh, it's, it's just a black cave. What? This looks awesome. What is this? Black granite. Oh, we can get black granite on here. That's awesome, dude. That looks really, really cool, actually. Huh, nice. All right, uh, let's go ahead and explore this little branch real quick. Let's turn the light on. Uh, let's see. Oh! Oh, it's just a bunch of spiders. Okay, that's fair enough. Hey there, buddy. You want to come uh, come and try and take my ass down? It's not going to happen now, is it, son? All right, let's break you up. There we go. Got some goodies in here. Potion of speed. Oh, hello. Oh, he just... I don't even know. <laughs> uh, oh, Minecraft torches. Awesome. Nice. Okay, and some sticks and some bread and some generic stuff. Nice. That is really, really cool. Okay, uh, we've got a little bit of uh, that going on there, a little bit of that going on there. Okay, so I think that's this branch pretty much explored. So let's, exp let's explore the final branch real quick before ending off the episode because I think this one's going to run a little bit long. So here we go. Uh, is there going to be anything cool? Uh, let's go ahead and uh, break this real quick. There we go. A little bit of XP as per the norm is awesome. Hey, yeah. Go on, you're not taking me down there, creeper son. Go on. Oh, can you, like, not break the dungeon, please? Because this is, like, beautifully crafted by the people who made this wonderful mod. Uh, oh, wait, I can level this thing up. Oh, okay, ethereal light. Let's put poison twice on it. So, poison two. Oh, look at this. We've got a shield. Interesting. Okay, uh, rod on flesh. We can go ahead and dry that if we wanted to. What's this? Uh, regular stone? It is. Nice one. Huh, okay. And some carrots. Nice. 
Okay, we're looking good so far, folks. Let's keep going. Let's turn this light on. Uh, let's keep just trundling along. Oh, what is this? Is this like a big dungeon room thing? Is there like something maniacal gonna happen? I have no idea. Huh. Well, there doesn't appear to be anyone spawning here, so maybe there's nothing here, like at all? I have no idea. But anyways, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for this particular floor of this roguelike dungeon. Obviously, we'll explore the other floors in another episode. But yeah, that's just a quick look at that. Oh, spider of fatigue. I don't want to be on the wrong side of that. <laughs> Alright, guys. On that note, time to win the episode. I want to thank you guys for, for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and you're excited to see more, do, of course, be sure to drop a like rating. It is the best way of letting me know if you want to see more. And I would appreciate it nonetheless. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But Thanks for watching, folks. Your support, as always, has been super appreciated. I apologize for, for my noobiness and dying a lot as well. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Hopefully, you guys are digging it, too. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.